Back at home, condemnation of Israel's actions in Gaza is growing within Labor's ranks. The Cabinet Minister Ed Husick has claimed Palestinians are being collectively punished, while Anna Lee says Israel could be investigated for war crimes. Live now to Trudy McIntosh. And Trudy, I understand you've got some details mm -hmm. about another Labor MP who's also spoken out. Yeah, Ash, long-time Labor MP Maria Van Bakkenau. She's been a long-time backbencher since here since 2001, representing a seat in Victoria. She was the lone Labor MP this morning attending a pro-Palestine rally that was held outside on the lawns of Parliament House. She was there alongside uh, many Greens MPs, uh, Greens senators and the Greens leader, Adam Bant. Uh, this rally condemning Israel's action, she spoke to the crowd herself in that she called on her government, uh, the one she is part of, to call on Israel to halt a potential ground invasion, condemning its actions. At one point after she told the crowd that Hamas uh, is a terrorist organisation, someone in the crowd shouts out to her that they believe the Israeli Defence Force is a terrorist organisation. You'll be able to see her response. Have a look. The people of Gaza cannot be collateral damage. Hamas is a terrorist organisation. But there is no justification whatsoever under any rules of war or anything that will allow a civilian population to square off against an army. So IDF is a terrorist organisation yes. as well? Uh, it, it, it is an army. Can I, can I just say that we stand with the people of Gaza. So today I want to call on the international community on the Australian government to call for an end and to also call on Israel to halt its invasion of Gaza. She's not alone in her views within the Labor Party. There is a, a section of Labor who support what she has to say. We've seen this morning an intervention by two ministers within Labor, Ed Husick, the industry minister, and the youth minister in Ann Arley. Both of them are speaking this morning about the fact that they believe Palestinians are being collectively punished for the actions of the Hamas terrorist group. Have a look. I feel very strongly that uh, Palestinians are being collectively punished here for Hamas's barbarism. No food no energy, no way out, it is hard to argue that it is not a form of collective punishment. And Trudy, on a separate issue, the opposition leader has taken aim at Bridget mm. Archer after a vote happened in the House. What's the story there? Mm. Well, Bridget Archer once again, Ash, has crossed the floor this morning, this time, though, on Peter Dutton's attempt to call on a debate about having a royal commission into uh, sexual abuse of Indigenous children and also having an audit into government spending um, on Indigenous programs in the wake of the voice defeat. We know Bridget Archer, as a moderate, was uh, in favour of the voice. She actively campaigned for it at one stage alongside the Prime Minister. Uh, this appears to have been a step too far for Mr Dutton. He slammed her on radio today, saying this was a mistake and, in his words, it a essentially provides cover to Anthony Albanese not to do anything on either of these fronts. The vote was never going to get up. Peter didn't, Dutton didn't have the numbers, regardless of Bridget Archer. But he was asked on radio today, is he considering expelling her from the party? Well, I, I can have a private conversation with Bridget. Um, as much as I love the Ray Hadley Morning Show, I shan't uh, uh, discuss uh, the private conversations on air. On this issue, though, uh, I don't understand why Bridget uh, crossed the floor. I think it's a very significant issue for our country, as I say. Uh, I think she's made a mistake. It's the wrong uh, decision. And it, um, most importantly, uh, from my perspective, it takes away from the Prime Minister's culpability here. It's certainly not the first time she's crossed the floor. She's done this on a number of issues in this parliament. Uh, Liberal MPs are free to do this, Ash. It seems, though, there's an increasing frustration at the amount of times this is happening. Peter Dutton indicating there potentially is willing to have a conversation with her privately about that. I've reached out to Bridget Archer this morning, uh, yet to hear back with her response on why she chose to cross the floor. Trudy McIntosh, live in Canberra. Thank you.